All right, still on the trail, obviously. Just kind of lagging back behind the group. Just getting some uh, peace and quiet. Doing some video, and you know, a lot of times when you're hiking with a group of people, even though I love it, you know, sometimes you just miss a, a lot of the sights, a lot of the sounds. You know, so I like to hang in the back. But uh, we're, anyway, we're on the way to Hobbs Cabin today. I think I told you it was about 11, 11 or so miles. Um, we may have to call an audible when we get there. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Uh, anyway, it's a pretty nice hike this morning. Um, kind of easy so far. I'm sure it's going to get tougher. That's usually the way it goes. Uh, Jackson being very patient with me right now. I asked him if he'd stop so I could do a safety tip. If you, uh, if you buy a ULA pack, it comes with these cool things to hold your bottles. All right? And if, uh, if you get a little aggressive pulling them out of there, you know, you get a little snappy, you'll notice the, uh, the proximity of this elastic device to your nipple. Okay? And if you ag aggressively, re ag aggressively remove the water bottle, you're going to get popped right there. So, safety tip. Well, you were doing that on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> Alright, trail report so far. Uh, we're on our way to Hobbs Cabin. We've knocked out probably about you know, a little over eight miles. We got roughly another 3.2 miles or so to go. Uh, I haven't done a whole lot of talking to you because uh, I've been doing a whole lot of breathing hard. And uh, a lot of ups and a lot of downs. Uh, some of the trails nice, some of it soggy. Uh, right now I just got a reprieve because of the gnats. You can't even talk where they dive bomb in your mouth or in your uh, your eyes. I'm freaking calling them the kamikaze gnats. Uh, anyway, we're uh, just coming across the stream. We're about ready to, looks like everybody's gonna take a little small little break. So. Uh, that's the update now, so Hobbs uh, Cabin it is. So what you think about those kamikaze gnats? Say again? The kamikaze gnats. The ones that I just want to dive on. bomb your eyes and, and your you mouth want, and your you ears. Fast enough, they just skip right off the glasses. <laughs> Guess I need to pick up the pace a little bit then.
Kamikaze. made it to camp. We had a hell of a climb and we're set up. Everybody's pretty, pretty tuckered out. Especially Joe Grape Nut over there. Is this a dream? Yeah we're we're actually here. Now this is not a dream. Alright folks I ain't gonna lie we're tired. That last uh I don't know three, well, how, how, was that two miles or two and a half miles? It was just uphill in the rocks. The whole nine yards. <clears throat> but anyway, so the crew, crew's fixing to have some chow over here. Yeah. It's so a social hour by the fire. Sometimes if I'm doing a big look, you know. All right. Tonight's gourmet meal is hawk vittles, sweet Italian sausage and pasta. Hey, it's got sausage, olive oil, peppers, onions, spaghetti sauce, and Parmesan cheese on it. Now remember, he's in. The, he's been in. He's a retired military, so he's used to eating shit all the time. Burger, but you know, cook. Yeah. See, when I go buy a burger, I, I gotta go. Get a twelve dollar burger, or whatever you know. If, if I if use, I'm pretty snobby with my burgers. I like to make them That's at home. Okay. Well, I'm just saying that, the, in my opinion, is that your fast food restaurant. An eight. An eight. Yeah. eight. All right. Do I really like your I think it's wonderful. Are you gonna save me some? I mean, I. I thought you didn't what like was it. I thinking? I did like <laughs> very little burger. <laughs> It's an you taking Bob to Bob and Jerry Lynn? No, it's long dry, just grab a burger. Yeah, it was, uh, it's a damn good burger. See, the last time he had something that was rated as low as a four, he gave it away. He continues to eat it. <laughs> that is anything but bland. Come on now. Uh, that's well, because he doctored it up. Can put everything well, you're allowed to do that? No, you're not supposed to have to. No, uh, it's all about cutting the weight, man. You should not have to take any of that. Salt, I shouldn't woods. have to bring salt and pepper. That's and a Cuban. I got those on my oh, board. You're only saying that because now it's okay to have them. Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we're day three here. We're sitting around, uh, cooking up some coffee. This morning we're going to have the Santa Fe, Packet Gourmet Santa, Santa Fe. Is it Santa Fe or Santa Fe? Depends on where you're from. Yeah. All right, we're having the, I'm having the Santa Fe breakfast corn pudding. And uh, not much conversation around this campfire this morning. Uh, I don't know, I don't know if everybody's still in uh, sleepy time mode or if they're dreading the walk today. No, you know, it's like, you're like your wife, you don't have to talk in the morning, man. <laughs> I've been with y'all two mornings now. Uh, <laughs> <clears throat> My breath is so bad, I'm afraid if I talk to anybody, they're going to slap me. He may get slapped anyway, but that's another story for another time, as Joe likes to say. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so it looks good here. We got corn. We got cheese, we got onion, hatch chili peppers. Hatch? Hatch, yeah. What's that? Hatch, it's just the name of a chili pepper. Kind of like a, not a spicy one, you know. And uh, I guess that's grits, or is that polenta? Okay, Jax is going to tell us how much he enjoyed his breakfast. One to ten, I'm gonna give this an eight. Good. I put, I did put a little uh, Texas Pete hot sauce in there. Could have used a little salt and pepper, probably. Refresh your memories. Mm. What's the name of that meal? Santa Fe breakfast corn pudding. Mmm. Something tells me you won't be sharing any of that. 
Hobbs cabin. I didn't film this yesterday because there was people here. mouse house man I don't know if anybody can if y'all can see that in here fireplace a little bench some bunks let's get in here say hey Joe hey hey Joe How you doing? and this place if you come here and you tie your stuff up leave your pockets open because the mice are gonna get in there one way or the other and check, check on that. There it is, Hobbs Cabin. Everybody's ready. And well, if we were doing crunches, because I ate a big pop tart, and I'm trying to uh, <laughs> make it burn away. <laughs> no, I got the wet one here, and it's pretty easy what we have left. If there's any questions, I'll just call Jax. I'm sure he'll run out of here. Yes. Appreciate it. No, 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 right. no, 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 no. Well, I hate we're having to leave y'all so uh, you good soon. Old handshake, dude. There you you're, go. You're Hi. Good, dude. It's good to meet you. I don't yeah, get it. Pleasure to meet you. Hi, pleasure to meet you. I usually don't pleasure give. I give hugs. Time. I usually don't handshake, but I'll. Yeah, I'm not into yeah. hugging. All right. Especially the some. Beard. Especially the beard. a some dude and b some dude that smells worse than me. Or but you'll just talk about me. his man cakes all day, right? All right. Well, we're on our last last push now to the car. Now, we're headed to get a burger. Yeah, big sloppy burger with everything. Yeah. The bigger the better. Let's go see something better. Yeah. All right, peace. Uh -huh. Hey, Savage Golf, do it. You love it. Ying out. Yay! All right, guys, figured I'd give you one last update. I committed a homicide. The first burger joint we got to or it was actually a gas station. I murdered a bacon double cheeseburger with all the fixings, a bag of Funyuns, and a big Bavarian cream pie. 
now I'm headed to the house. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and we'll see you on the next one. Peace.